action. Okay, here we are in Carlisle's bathroom again, and uh, the last video I showed you had a few things, features that hadn't quite been finished, so here we are, the completed product. And uh, we just finished putting in the satin nickel doorknobs, and all the doors in the second floor got those. Um, up, what we're showing you here is the shower enclosure, new um, shower curtain, obviously new uh, handheld shower feature with uh, by Hans Grohe. This is a bronze tile feature that is um, it was quite a good little deal. It was actually being uh, discontinued, so we got it very well priced, and we combined it with the floor tile and the new tw 12 by 24 polished. Um, glazed um, offset wall tile. So that feature actually expands the room, makes it feel a little bit larger when you take the um, floor tile design and you bring it right up behind the tub. We enlarged, uh, we actually made the window a little smaller so we could make a bigger um, trim to the right. If you saw the four pictures of this particular trim, it's quite hideous. We had um, the opportunity to change it, so we did. They already have the existing rain glass, so that's good. And um, this is the light feature from Murray Feist and Sat Nickel. And um, we just installed this mirror for a temporary measure right now. We're waiting for the mirror. Uh, the granite is called a beach. It's a beach, um, golden beach, and it's a polished granite. And we did the square undermounted sink and growy single hole faucet. The vanity is a Hartco vanity by uh, made of um, shaker bamboo and uh, it has features such as a bamboo or sorry um, plywood interior and um, there's even complete with a little grill down there that matches. So all finished in this bathroom except for the mirror, and uh, yeah, this door actually wasn't there before. We used a lamy glass door so that we could let more light into the closet and into the bedroom. So there you go, completed bathroom.